Hello guys and uh, welcome to another TKG Games tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be solving problem 6 on Project Euler which is the sum square difference. The sum of the squares of the first 10 natural numbers is 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, da 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 da, 10 square and then we get 385. The square of the sum of the first 10 natural numbers is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We add them up, we get 55. We square that, we get 3,025. Hence, the difference between the sum of the squares of the first 10 natural numbers and the square of the sum is 3,025 minus 385, we get 2,640. Find the difference of the sum of the squares of the first 100 natural numbers and the square of the sum. Um, this is one of those problems where it's like really straightforward. Uh, if you really wanted to optimize this, instead of starting at um, 10, you would go for 11, right? Because we already have the number for uh, 10. Was there 10? What you can do is you square 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to 20, or to 100, and then you add that to this, and that should pretty much give you the same thing. So you kind of skip the first 10 numbers. Um, but that's one way we can optimize that. And it's a fairly straightforward uh, problem to solve. Uh, it's there are not tricks or anything like that. You do one method, one method, get the differences between these two, and you get the answer. So let's go ahead and actually uh, solve this problem. So I'm gonna go back here and go into uh, our projects folder here where I've been doing all the Euler projects. And I'm just gonna go ahead here and create a class. I'm gonna call this um, some square, what's square? Some square difference. Okay. All right, so now that we have this, all we gotta do is create the first method that um, is going to sum then square, right? So we create a private static. And I'm gonna use big integers. Uh, the reason why I wanna use primitive type is because I want people to be able to realize that we have more than just primitive type sometimes when we're dealing with um, you know, with these problems that we have. Um, also to give people chances to, you know, broaden their uh, library scopes. Because a lot of people, they, we get stuck with the same thing, use the same thing over and over again. And um, we forget that there are other stuff that we can use. So here uh, I'm gonna use uh, there, which is introducing uh, version 10 of Java. And then uh, I'm gonna just give it the value of zero, right? So. Uh, now I want to do, we want to create a for loop, right? So I'm going to say there again, I'm going to call this X and that's going to equal to big integer dot one, right? And then while X dot compare to, uh, reason why I always use compare to it's because it's versatile. It will check for things like uh, NANDs and all that good stuff, right? So we use a zero and then I'll say X that's going to equal to X dot add um, big integer dot one. All right, so once we have that here, so what we can do is we then we'll sum things up. So say sum summation equals summation dot add, and then we just add X. And then once we're done with that, we just need to return. So we return uh, summation, right? And then dot power and then two and uh, pretty much this is taken care of. So what we did was we went ahead and added all the numbers from a one to the limit, right? And then once we're done with that, we squared it, which would take care of uh, this part right here. So we did this first. All right, so now we have to do this part right here. So I'm gonna create another method here. So private uh, static big integer. And I'm gonna call this one uh, square then sum, right? That makes sense. So what we're gonna do is take a big integer again. Uh, this is gonna be the limit. All right, so what we can really do is just, uh, we can copy this here. Um, yes, let's just copy this. All right, and let's paste it here. All right, so what we need to do is instead of doing this, let's just go ahead and change this to two. So now we're actually gonna be adding the power, right? 
And instead of us returning summation that that, we just return summation because. So remember, we go here. We I take x, take the power of x, right? So if, if it's two, it's gonna take given four. We add four to summation. Start it back. Uh, whatever numbers in summation, we add them together, and then we start back in summation. So that part is done, right? So we just pretty much took care of this part. We take the number, we square it, and then we put it back into the sum, right? So we get that. So what we need next is to clean things up a little bit. Um, now this is the difference part. So we need to take the difference. So I'm gonna say big integer again, and this part I'm gonna call this difference. All right, and this is gonna take in the limit. Oh, my bad. So this big integer limit. And what we want to do is we want to return, right? So first we want to use the sum, right? Then square it because that's the bigger one. That's the first one that we did. And we want to pass in limit. And then we want to go ahead and subtract um, square, square then sum, right? And then take in limit. And we are pretty much done here. So um what we're gonna do here is use our main method and uh just do a slt for shortcut i mean this is why i love intellij you know it makes typing so much easier uh compared to uh maybe eclipse all right so now that we have that here we could just use difference and uh i'm gonna use the uh method value of and i'm going to pass in 10 and uh, let's go ahead and run this oops okay well it gave us the answer so it still gave us the answer but what i wanted to do was just do that all right so we get our 26 well we get 2640 uh which is going to be the base number that we're supposed to get which is this one right so remember that to optimize this, uh, since we already have the base numbers, I would have just done was start this from 11, and then eventually when we're done, we just add this back to add that number, the base numbers to this number, and we should get the same answer. Um, so now we just need to do is put the 100 here and see what that answer comes up to. And um, this is the answer. All right, guys, uh, I'll probably do uh, problem number seven tonight. Um, Maybe after I'm done with my uh, Unity tutorial. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like the tutorial, please uh, comment and like and subscribe. Bye-bye.